as you know, in Ohio, this is going to be one of the contested seats. This is a possible pickup for Democrats here. Let's keep this in mind. Ohio could offset potential losses in the Senate and other places. It is absolutely ins- essential for the Democrats to maintain the Senate uh, from the perspective, at the very least, of the judges. Right. I mean, um, Clarence Thomas gave us a possible, um, you know, sort of preview as to what could happen. I mean, listen, um, I, I know it is not appropriate to say things like this. And so let me just say that I would not choose um, Clarence Thomas to be the next Supreme Court justice who passes away. Okay, I just want to be clear about that. It would probably be someone younger uh, yeah. on the right, like uh, an Alito or a, a Gorsuch or, you know, uh, a- any one of them. Uh, Kavanaugh, it doesn't matter. Although um, in terms of odiousness from like a pure visceral level, I don't know, you know, now that Scalia is gone, he, uh, I might I might hate I Clarence Thomas the most. But I, again, from that's a tactical not the way. perspective, yes. I know I, I'm I'm thinking emotionally because I'm a woman, obviously. Obviously, obviously. But yeah. I'm uh, I'm very male. I'm a, <laughs> what is known as a pie male. And um, and uh, therefore, I think very strategically and to call, look, I know people are going to get upset at my saying that. But um, your uh, uh, facts don't care about your feelings. And um, I am, uh, it is a fact that, um, you know, we need a couple of, uh, of, of right wing Supreme Court justice to exit the um, court. Now, listen, I'm not saying that they have to pass away. I, that would be harsh. I think like some type of uh, thing that happens that it makes it impossible for them to go to work. Or, or just like, you know, he has a come to Jesus moment after having a health issue and thinks I just he wants to spend his time on the beach with exactly. a pina colada. I would love exactly. that for Clarence Thomas. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and all the other. And then he could just call justices. in to Ginny to see how she's doing if she's uh, ransacking uh, the, the Capitol. The Capitol, building. right. Oh, what a pair. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> very important to keep the Senate. And Ohio is one potential for a pickup for the Democrats. Um, we don't know who the Democratic nominee is going to be. The Tim Ryan's running, right? And uh, and who else? Morgan Harper. And Morgan Harper, who was a great candidate uh, running in the primary. Um, don't know. Haven't seen any uh, uh, polling on that. Uh, but we do know in the Republican primary that J.D. Vance, hailed by folks like uh, Peter Thiel and um, Glenn uh, Glenn Greenwald. In fact, Glenn Greenwald cited um, uh, J.D. Vance as an example of what happens when um, elitists like Matt here and Bradley and Emma and myself um, mock uh, J.D. Vance, his popularity shoots up Mm. in the polls. How much? What's shooting up? Well, up is a relative term, and uh, he's... If you're upside down, it could be down. He is down. He is way down. Mm. So that theory fell apart. But the actual race is now between uh, Mike Gibbons, who is a businessman from Ohio, and uh, Josh Mandel, who is a lunatic. Uh, well, uh, let's be honest. They're both lunatics. What, what is the position that Mandel have? Is he like a, I feel like he's a state comptroller or something like that. Um he was treasurer. He was a treasurer of Ohio. Of Ohio. And uh, they both, uh, they're at a debate, and they've got to show which one of them is the most belligerent of the two, because this is, this is the thing that you're looking in uh, for in a lawmaker. Which one's going to be the most belligerent? Which one's the most of a lunatic? Because that this is a Republican primary. And so here they Bradley's go. They so go excited. at it. Can we hear the full audio on this? Yeah. Okay, here we go. There, uh, Gibbons is walking on there. And I feel like Gibbons probably twice the age of uh, Mandel, right? Do we know? Can we confirm the ages? Yeah. Look that up for me. It's like a rotunda style in the White House here, too. It's nice yeah, little, it's very, it's a beautiful, beautiful setting for this, uh, for this near Thunderdome. Rumble. Thunderdome. Yeah. Thunderdome. Which one of these guys is going to get out of the? Um, here we go. I can. You tell filed you, that I, with the Federal Elections Commission. You well, have stock in Chinese I, Petro. I personally didn't buy the stock. You uh, made millions off it, sir. I don't think I made millions off of anything. I'd love to have made millions off of Chinese Petro. Uh, 
first of all, Shanghai Shenda and buying, Chinese petrol. Buying a second. Right, you may not it. understand this because you've I never been in the No, you don't. I do. You've never been in the I private sector, sector in your life. All right, I've worked, sir. Josh. Squat, Josh. Two chores in Iraq. Don't, don't tell me I haven't squat. worked. Don't tell me I haven't worked. You, you don't know squat. It's, it's, it's okay, right? You don't know squat. It's okay. Two tours in Iraq. Don't tell me I haven't worked. Back off, buddy. You're gonna you back off. off. Oh, my God. Never. That'll never. Sit down. Never. Watch. Yeah. Watch. We'll swear the way to yeah. the wrong dude. Right. No, no, yes. you're dealing with the wrong guy. You watch what happens. You watch what happens. All right, guys. I like I like the positive for one second. I like JD Vance coming up. They're going to be the voice for you. Hey, how can I get this attention? Yeah. Well, I, I better get up and pretend like I'm going to do. Come on, man. Come on, just sit down. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. We all know I should be the candidate here. Peter T loves me. Yeah, this is, come on. How can I get into this? How can I get into this? I can't assess right now who uh, the crowd is sympathizing with, so I wouldn't know how to intervene here. <laughs> all right, but uh, keep going. Oh, that's it. That's, that's it. it. And uh, that's what a is funny it? mix of little attacks there, like the um, you invested in this attack, which is like, really? That's going to. What do Republican you call him? Primary? Shanghai something? Shanghai Shonda or something? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that was. Um, but uh, try and take a page out of Trump's uh, book there. What What is interesting though is that but Trump would be like, "Yeah, I made the deal, you idiot," because I'm right. a business. No, but the guy calling him the name. <laughs> right. no, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I that's mean, the thing. I wonder if I took advantage of the Chinese. I wonder if that is um, if if Gibbons. I mean, if he was smarter, he would have been like, uh, "Listen." I didn't make millions on that, but I made millions on other things because I'm a businessman and I know how to run this uh, yep. place. Now you're a good little worker. Uh, thank you for uh, phone line soldier. Thank you for your service. But uh, it's time for the big boys to take care. I mean, that's the way that like a um, that's the way he should have responded. Now, of course, I, 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 I mean, I. It's hard for me to really assess which one of these two I want to be the um, the nominee because I don't know which one would be worse. But I sort of feel like Mandel would be worse. Yeah, I think so. Because he, he's more of a, we know what the old businessman is. Right. Like Mandel's looking for some sort of identity. And he'll probably just do the teal stuff. Probably. But he, but I think like he just seems to be a little bit crazier. And um, and I don't know. I can't imagine like, you know, that would be nice to, to like have him go off like that in the uh, general election. This is your senator. Come at me. Come at me. Try it. Try it. This is the uh, this F is, around. See what happens. This is the daytime TV takeover of uh, of Republican politics. We got Dr. Oz in Pennsylvania, and then we got like Jerry Springer style fights yep. happening in Ohio. This was at uh, a Freedom Works sponsored event in uh, Gahana, Ohio. Freedom Works, of course, uh, formerly run by Dick Army, and they. Um, we're like, you know, getting Koch brother uh, funding. So that's basically it. Here is uh, J.D. Vance's response. Is it just on Twitter or is it, do we have a video? video. Okay, here it is. Um, I would say, and Mandel is about 39 years old. I would say Gibbons, I mean, that dude has to be older than me, right? Yeah. So he's going to be close to 60 at least. He's 69 and Mandel's 39. This nice. is this is like an Alex from New York call from uh, our Thursday calls come to life where he gives us hypothetical uh, matchups between right wing politicians. <laughs> but this is happening in real time. Yeah, so before I answer that question, I just want to comment on what we just saw. Uh, look, oh. as the only other person who served his country in uniform, uh, I enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. My mamaw had six grandchildren, three of them enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. I think the way you use the U.S. Marine Corps, Josh, is disgraceful. It's not a good thing. Way to capitalize, J.D. Think about, think about what we just saw. This guy wants to be a U.S. senator. He's up here. Pull me back. Pull me back. I got two tours in the Green Corps. What a joke. Answer the question. Stop playing around. And there, ladies and gentlemen, pause it for All one right. second. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is your ad for your Democratic nominee. Uh, this guy wants to be uh, U.S. Senate, and he's like, hold me back, hold me back. And he uses his uh, two tours. And I mean, that is, that is. JD's Thank got you, a good read of the room because uh, uh, I would guess if the entire electorate were to see his lame response there, he'd actually drop 
in Republican I, polling. I, like I say, though, I mean, honestly, somebody should be sending him a bread, uh, like a muffin basket for that. ad. Yes. That is the ad right there. He sucks. He doesn't have any broader sense of strategy. It seems like he just flies from one thing to another. He just wanted to be able to announce that he also was in the uniform. But yes. look at me. I I'm would never get guy. into a fight. And that's why you, sir, are at the bottom of uh, the heap. 